Hey guys, Bullets of Freedom and Liberty here. I'm out here at the outdoor range. It is freaking cold, uh, probably in the low 30s. Uh, as you can see, we've got snow on the ground, uh, but this is not a bullet review. Finally, we've got a lot of requests to actually uh, just shoot the damn gun. So, here we are. We've got the 230 grain missiles, over 10 grains of IMR 4227. We are shooting it through the Palmetto Arms with the Nickel Boron Carrier Bolt Group, uh, eight and a half inch barrel. We have the flashlight suppressor. Um, just your basic build, guys. Uh, the one thing unique about this rifle uh, is that it has the double tap trigger. Um, before you go into uh, all the questions and whatnot regarding the double tap trigger, just check your local uh, regulations, your local laws. Um, as you know, on the binary trigger system, um, when you pull the trigger, it fires. When you release the trigger, it fires. And the one thing that double tap trigger does not have is that when you are in the binary function, uh, that if you're in the middle of a trigger pull, uh, to be able to bring it down into the semi-auto mode, this does not have that. So over the course of the last uh, three or four weeks, as I've been shooting this, um, shooting subsonics, shooting suppressed, one thing I've noticed is that if you are going to go with the double tap trigger setup, which is mil spec drop in, super simple to uh, to, to go ahead and put into your firearm, um, just understand that you do not have that third option. Um, you do not have the ability that if you are in the middle of a of a of a trigger pull, that you cannot just put it into the uh, semi-auto and then release the trigger. So as you can see, it's fairly quick. So I'll just do a quick mag dump off this and uh, we'll just keep going. I'm not gonna shoot into the steel, I'm just gonna shoot into the berm. Not too bad, you guys. Let's do that one more time. So as you can tell, when I release that trigger, it's it's nice and crisp, uh, very crisp, very very precise. So just remember, two is one, one is none. Guys, it doesn't get any better than that. This entire build cost me about 700 bucks from start to finish, including this, the cheap uh, multi-reticle open sight. So, um, barrel, eh, the can's a little warm, but it is cold out here, so it's actually not too shabby. So again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos. Looking forward to a warmer 2018. We're in the dead of winter right here up in the great Northwest. Um, click like, click subscribe, and remember, arm yourself, educate yourself, and for God's sakes, defend yourself, and just thank God that Hillary Clinton is not our president. Have a great day, you guys.